Hi ninjas, how are you guys doing? It's a girl, oh I'm in Nichi Pajoru, aka Miss Fia Focal and welcome back to my channel boldly owami now ninjas i honestly want to do my best to make sure that i am going to be consistent on this channel um i feel like i've stuffed you guys and so it's gonna be story times after story times okay i'm gonna do my best <laughs> um but anyway i also just want to remind you guys that on the 3rd of june i'm having my first youtube masterclass. if you are interested i'm sure i'll put a poster here make the payment send proof of payment and i'll add your name to the list um just in case you did not know if you want to learn how to youtube make money from youtube go ahead and attend this masterclass. you will not regret it but anyway ninjas let's go ahead and just get into this chendi the other thing again guys i feel like the lighting is gonna fluctuate unfortunately that is a window guys and the only way that i can cover it in a in a way that's not gonna look ugly in the video is if i use like a black plastic bag um on the window itself and still have my um blind out um but unfortunately i ran out of those and i keep forgetting to buy but this is the last time that i'm gonna be shooting a video that the lighting is fluctuating i'm sorry for that and also let me go ahead and just start off by addressing this um guys if you're someone that has a problem with me talking about my life which is connected to my ex-husband and my ex-in-laws then you're gonna have a real problem i'm not even lying to you Jew is gonna have a serious problem because i won't stop i will not um at the end of the day this is my life experiences and um i will tell everything that i want to what i don't want to tell i won't tell but what i want to tell trust and believe i will tell every single thing okay um some of the story times obviously they're purely for entertainment i feel like most of them are educational like you all really need to learn and not make the same mistakes that you know some of us made um and also just clearing out some some stuff you know but basically i will not stop so if you have a problem and this sorry just wait for story times that don't have anything to do with my um ex which i feel like it's gonna be a long time because almost 10 years almost a full decade with someone that's my whole 20s and everything that i went through was also connected with him so yeah but anyway this is also the same nigga that came online lied on me like child he is so blessed that at least everything i'm saying is the truth and i'm not lying on him honey okay but anyway let's go ahead and get into this chendish booboo now this story time you guys is the story time of um my dr nandipa eram dagabao like besi within pakati insight you understand so the year 2017 <laughs> this is the year that i almost ran to zimbabwe with a criminal of a husband <laughs> it's funny now i laugh now that issue was not funny whatsoever child like i really went through some traumatic ish in my life because of that man okay so obviously for for you guys to understand the story fully i need to give you sort of like a background of what happened right so basically guys um me and my ex we were too, like we were very different when i met him guy was fully in debt when he met me i didn't even have a single debt like Rahul, i didn't even have a cell phone debt nothing i was someone that literally hated debt so much you know um but when i met him like guy was like fully in debt and you know this and this and so I was the one that even was like you know what let's just go ahead and combine our money so that obviously i could help him like with his debts um and also like because remember we're planning a life together like how are you earning this certain amount which was very little it was earning less than me even when we met um and then after that like you know um the, the, then he has got more debts than me but he earns less and i think that that honestly is also just one of those things where people are like oh you got money you made money and you decided to leave him and i'm like honey if that was the case i wouldn't have gotten with him in the first place because i was already earning more than double what he was making you understand what he earned in a month i was earning more than that like double that over double that if i'm not mistaken so it had nothing to do with money honestly i won't lie guys i really did love this man but i feel like the there's also like a character that there are certain men that portrays you should be very careful of that because once you fall into that circle it's very difficult to actually come out so you know my ex obviously was someone that was not afraid of death and everything who guy went and he bought a car 
But when he went to buy a car, that was the Nissan Tida. He also bought somebody else a car. So now he didn't know anything that was going on. Can the Bona, they did their papers they cooked the books and then made it seem like this man was making so much money and then he took two cars out now the other car the guy did not pay obviously the bank came knocking after i think six months that was when i only got to know uri oh actually it wasn't one car that came out it was two cars and the man that took that car guys he did not even bother not a single day to actually pay a cent now obviously guys i was very upset we used to fight a lot like this man was just disaster from the beginning <laughs> you know and i don't know why i did not like see like earlier on like go run like i would have saved myself so much trouble in life if i'd just cut that man loose but anyway you know obviously this is me or me i love this man he treats me nice and blah 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 you know we can get over this so shabuhe then came the court case we had to go up and down at that time we were still engaged and i remember he, the lawyer that was representing him which was um legal aid um he was like hey you know he has a fiance he has a degree he has this and that he has a bright future um and the thing that the other thing again that helped him was that the man that had actually taken the car because he he told everything to say this is what happened like basically he cooperated um and then the what do they call this like the man that was the one that actually took the car it seems like he was a man that was wanted the he was a wanted man like he was associated with so many fraudulent cases it's like he's the one that used to cook the books for people so he was actually wanted and due to the fact that his name came up it was almost like they were like nah you know he's a small fish um we actually want this guy so if obviously my ex was to go in there and he you know embarrass us <laughs> it's gonna be fine and so that's exactly what he did and due to the fact that they saw that he has a degree it's his first time offending and i don't know but they've got different levels of crime it was fraud so i don't know where they put it but they decided that he was gonna only be given i don't know if they gave him <sighs> probation I think he was given probation guys if i'm not too mistaken but he didn't do any community service um i do remember that by the time we were going through this whole it, it actually took a while um by the time we were going through this we had already moved we were staying off and then when that's where the detectives came to see where he stays um and to see that he was staying with me because the lawyer said that you know he has a degree um um and he also has a fiance so they wanted me basically to sign to say yeah, i'm gonna be with him which now thinking about it i'm like what if this nigga had ran what if they were gonna come to me because i signed to say that yes you know i'm with him blah 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 now guys they're cutting grass oh my gosh the sound i'm so sorry i hate it here oh man like this place is gorgeous and it's always well kept but the noise wow but anyway guys i do hope that you guys can hear me well um so basically guys like with that we were done with it and i do remember like sitting down with my ex and i'm like can you please not do this because number one niggas you, you ain't good at it like you're not even good at it you know like there are certain people that are just born for the thug life and then there are other people that are just born to have jobs he's definitely one of those people born to have jobs he's a very very good jobber I don't know if you can say job but um yeah in um english professors are gonna be my conversation <laughs> no but he's a very good employee like that's one thing that i can tell you guys like if you employ him he will be there on time he will be the last one out you know he's 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 a really good jobber so i'm making that word up okay they should add it in the dictionary so basically you know sharp you know we talk we agree everything is fine um that year if i'm not too mistaken i think it was 2015 if i'm not too mistaken when we went through this court case and you know everything finished it wasn't as troublesome honestly it didn't have a lot of reminders 
by the time that they had to do it they were like okay he went in they didn't even sleep in the cell the um, police officer was like you know I, I was supposed to have um, you were supposed to have actually slept here but I'm gonna let you come in the morning and then you guys are gonna have to pay the bail which I was the one that actually paid the bail and I think it was a thousand bucks and then obviously he was out so that was the first case the first situation so he was out they let him out on probation second part now now who guy guys like the reason why i'm saying this even this part is because he has told people so in that area they know so okay Shabu, even though he lied this the lie that i'm gonna go ahead and clarify is that the second part you guys um i we were now called clip sprayed so wait to honey i have stayed in many places so you know like he would wake up in the morning go to work and when he goes to work he used to use like the pad coppers this was the time that like my depression was at a height like i was so depressed you guys i'd be at home i would sleep the whole day like i was just like i was so depressed you guys have no idea anyway um oh guy obviously would wake up go to work come back sharp but then now started to be a time where oh guy after like around 10 he would take the car and leave and then i'd be like okay where are you going he really wouldn't say but then sometimes i would see computer boxes like you know on the side and i'm looking at this computer boxes i'm like how okay because i know that obviously you know he was in it and he also used to fix people's computers so he would come with like computer boxes maybe they will sleep here the following day maybe he'll be like oh i'm going to work with the car i'm like okay sharp and then he would go with the car and then he would go with them and then maybe like the another day will come with the exact same ones they look the same but i wasn't really paying too much attention into it but he would be out a lot guys like he would leave maybe about 10 at night he will come back after 12 midnight like i'm just like i'm not comfortable while in clip spirit it's not really the safest area even though where we were staying like it was really safeish but like i was just not really comfortable with him um actually just you know not being home I, i'm not understanding what's going on cheating was never anything that i ever suspected like when i tell you that i actually really trusted this man you have got no idea um but i was just like knowing him it's definitely something that has to do with criminology <laughs> criminology must be involved here because i know him you know <laughs> i start asking i start pressing that's when he's like no we're actually taking computer boxes from work you're taking computer boxes from work it's like yeah you know blah 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 i'm like no man don't do this and i remember when i spoke to him i think it was on maybe it was on tuesday that i found out and i was like no man please stop this please don't do this i was like no it's very safe i just enter in there i take i come out blah 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 and he's like i'm not the only one we're all doing it you know that's what he said it's a lot of us these are computer boxes that are just stashed in sort of like some lab and they're not being used or something so people are taking and they're stealing them and then they sell them and then they make some money from there but still i told him no don't do this you know so on wednesday if i'm not mistaken um i was like hey he's like yeah you know i was like no when he said he was going out i was like i'm going with you and then i went with him guys when i went there i was in the car i really just wanted to see what is going on he parks the car there by simon street you know Joburg, and then he he leaves he walks into this building of the bank he was working for which i'm not gonna mention and then after that you know he takes the computer boxes i think he took two and then he came back to the car i can't remember if he went back again and then came back with more or those were the ones that he took that night and then after that i remember guys when he was driving my heart was beating like this i'm like my god i'm in a car where they there are stolen goods in here and then he's like no don't worry we've been doing this blah 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 so i guess that the times that he would come with those computer boxes is if maybe he didn't get a buyer for some but he will have taken more you understand so i'm like mm, i really didn't want to know what was going on i remember just telling him please stop don't do this like you're gonna get caught it's not worth it just go to work work it's fine blah 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 and then i remember him saying that okay no it's fine i'm gonna stop that's what he said then that that was a wednesday night thursday friday 
he had called me to say we're gonna go and watch a movie there by maponya mall and then i was really excited guys i'm like okay let me get ready you know um my man's is gonna come and he was like yeah since it's friday the bus comes late so i'm gonna go with the car i'm like sharp we had one car at that time um the car that we had was the nizan tida so okay sharp you know he goes to work with the car and then after that I, i'm looking at the time and he's not coming man i'm looking at the time he's not coming but i wasn't really paying too much attention honestly that day jay things were just you know so guy sends me a message hi baby i've been caught you have been caught to like the moment he said i've been caught guys i just knew who reads the computer change like my mind just started spinning mind you it's friday so you know that if it's friday saturday sunday he's gonna be in there you know they only give bail rich people we was poor as hell so he's gonna have to come out monday that is obviously what i thought in my mind now throughout the whole weekend guys like um i remember when he sent me the message he was like yeah they're arresting me um so please come fetch the car yes that's what he said that i should go and fetch the car so what i basically did was that i obviously we had this other guys that were colored and they were sort of like friends in a way but the shame they were so crooked they were even more criminals than us um and it was just enough <laughs> i come far guys i come far <laughs> so the husband of that woman was also friends with like my ex so he's the one that basically accompanied me to actually have to go and then obviously get the car because my husband at that time was getting arrested and then they were taking him to 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 the police station now obviously um I, I, we didn't have any communication he did say that when i come for the car i should bring a jacket which is something that i did i did take a jacket for him and they took the jacket and they gave him then after that saturday i think saturday late that was when he called me he was inside so somebody had a phone in there um he called me and then after he called me um he was like i'm okay uh, i'm gonna see you uh on monday you know take the money so that you will come and bail me out guys that moment remember we fled broke i'm unemployed that's i'm so against a woman being unemployed i don't care how much your uh, your husband makes but you should have your own money if your husband wants you to sit down he should give you a proper salary every month okay like but have your own money i don't even have a cent on me in his account i think he had like 4500 or something and um, like that was like the only money that we had um and then there was also like i also had to call like my friends i was like guys can you please borrow me money because apparently we had spoken to some guy that was like yeah for him to get out it will it can cost more than ten thousand for a lawyer blah 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 guys you know when you don't know anything again as i'm saying this colored guys i don't know what to call them let me go ahead and just call their husband mad <laughs> mark okay so mark was also sort of like a criminal he's the one that i'm hoping is gonna help you know he calls the guy and i think that when he was talking he was also adding money on top so that he will get like do you understand why in this trouble he's still trying to scam us so i no, i didn't have the money but i remember i ended up uh being able to get like about i think i got like three thousand so now the money that i had was like three thousand plus four point five which was seven point five i think and then obviously that was the only money that i had i didn't give mark thank goodness um we did go to court and i just had that money i can't remember if i had it cash or if i had it in my card so when we got there you guys here comes this lawyer yeah if i see that guy today i would just punch his face he's short he's light in complexion he's skinny if you have ever gone to the johannesburg high court i'm sure you know that little motherfucker like i don't like him i'm sorry to cause i don't like him he comes he's like yeah my fee five thousand right now if you give me five thousand i'm gonna make sure that your husband is out now i'm looking at it i'm like if i give this guy five thousand i'll be left with six seven 2.5 by the time they say however much is gonna be bail i won't have the bail money so even if he gets him out if i don't have the bail money he's still going to stay in there now the other problem again that we had the reason why i explained the first probation when you're in on probation from what i know is that you're not allowed to commit any crime 
if you commit any crime then they arrest you and you're going to go to court for whatever crime you've committed from inside basically you are not getting the bail okay now this is something that 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 short nigger um came here and he was talking about it you know he's wearing his lawyer gown i'm like he's like yeah you know like basically i'm 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 at least i'm okay when it comes to like character reading of people especially if i'm not in love with you if i'm in love with you it's another story don't go <laughs> but like looking at him there was a part of me that just felt no man this guy is crooked you know so he comes there you know and then he's like yeah um if you want him out you give me five thousand right now and i'm gonna do it and he was basically doing it to like people that are there like you know obviously you know if you're there i think that you're desperate so you know we are there most uh, guys i'm super desperate because the moment that mark had uri oh my ex actually had another case and he was on probation he was like he's not getting out it's impossible like he will never mark now turns jiggy jiggy against my ex and mind you mark and my ex they used to do sometimes they used to go together to steal these computers because he would go pick up mark and they would go together and then they would sell i don't know how much he would do because the thing is with my ex-husband he used to think he's smart do we not for the street honey do we not do we for the jobbing like i just some anger issues they come out but you know we've worked a lot so basically guys i end up just saying no man let me not let me not say anything to this guy but now i was scared that obviously when you go in front of the judge you're gonna say no i don't have any pending cases i don't have i'm not on probation they don't check because south africa does not have fast systems like america you know i don't know now don't try it now i don't know now but you know he basically didn't tell the full truth <laughs> <laughs> and so the judge gave him but i was really scared you guys Uri. oh because that lawyer knew now and we didn't use him what if he's going to go in there and actually talk you know because they ask you like do you have a lawyer no if you don't have a lawyer when you're there for bail they just basically ask you basic questions um you know are you on probation if you say no are you on this you say no and then after that you know the judge is like okay you're getting your your, your bail if you're a first time offender what i know is that you are allowed to get bail and you go through whatever case like you know outside so basically the moment they said that my ex is getting bail guys i was super excited and then they were like the bail money is three thousand rands and i was like yes thank goodness i didn't give this short nigga that money because i would have been shot now you know so i go out there guys get the office i pay for the bail they do everything that was when i met this other guy that that guy is a story time on his own but let me skip that part and then after that sharp guys see um you know we leave as we're in the car mark is the one that is driving and when we went to court it was me it was mark it was mark's wife um and so when we were now going back it was me my ex um, mark and his wife so now we're going back we're going back to clip spray Shibubu. we go back to clip spray then we get home we sit down mark throughout the car he's like brah you're very lucky shame but the fact that you lied the moment they go and they run those in the in the system just know that the, the, your probation is going to pull up and they're going to come arrest you and mind you they wanted uh, address we had to give them the real address because i i knew that with the first one they did come so if they come and you're not there then you know they're gonna look for you and if they find you like they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna arrest you they, they need you to have an accommodation so basically you know now we're going mark is in the car like going on and on about how they're gonna I, honestly nothing come about it i don't think mark was for us he definitely was not they ended up actually stealing our stuff i have done that story time it's just like a very long time ago but we go back to clip spray to you guys throughout the whole road Oh, mark is busy just on some yeah yeah you're definitely gonna go back bruh like there's no way they're gonna find out they're gonna do this now obviously this is like scary for me that weekend was torture it was pure hell i'm sitting here thinking if they have arrested this guy like i'm done i don't have any source of income where am i going to stay it means i have to go back to venda to my aunt's house because definitely i can't go back to you know my sister's father's house so or my mother's husband's house like i can't so i knew that I'm, i would have to go to my sorry 
I knew that I would have to go to my aunt's house and that was the last thing that I wanted because I just felt like I was gonna be a burden to her I'm gonna be coming back no money I'm not employed I dropped out of school like guys so much happened in that weekend that I was so scared and again I was really genuinely scared for him because I'm like oh my gosh he's gonna get arrested and um I love him I can't lose him I'm like you know he's too sweet he's so soft in jail shame that gonna definitely make him the, the woman for sure like those were just the horrible things that were happening in my mind guys like yo guys when he came out he looked like the struggle i don't know if i can be able to put the picture here but i do have those pictures on my facebook my old facebook they are there because I, I i can't even log into that account i've lost the um, the the pin but honestly he looked like the struggle guys we were struggling and mind you guys after we paid for the bill there was money that we also had to pay but basically money got finished like we didn't have a cent and mind you now we had to pay rent oh yeah the left money that was left we had to pay rent he was not having any income now so now nobody is working we're just sitting looking at each other there's no job two days after he came back mark and his wife they came to borrow the car and said they were going somewhere we had not been paying for that car for almost three years i think up and down guys with the car <laughs> that's how i think maybe two years over two years for sure then that's how they repossessed the car the car when it got repossessed it wasn't even with us it was with Womark. the car got repossessed and then after that that was it we don't have a car we do not have a job we do not have money i remember we even took a walk through the jungle like not a jungle but a place where there were so many grasses um to like a somalian shop to go and buy one ply tissues even till today guys i don't use one ply tissue like no matter what is happening i do not use one ply tissue i told myself that i struggled so much using tissue that when you're using um you are even scratching your back like i used to ply like i'm for the soft life now you know <laughs> honestly that experience was horrible so it was actually at that time that i sat down and i was like no ways number one these people can come at any moment and carry this man because he lied his way out so i was like honey we're about to pick whatever we can like clothes and we are running to zimbabwe I don't know why Zimbabwe is the first place to come and the fact that um, Zimbabweans are literally fighting to get to South Africa and I was here saying I'm gonna leave South Africa me the innocent one me the law-abiding citizen to leave South Africa so that I can go with my criminal husband guys I thought about it I was like that's the only way we we need to get out of South Africa but now we had many challenges no none of us had a passport um, you know there was nothing there but honestly guys I'd made up my mind we we're gonna just run and go to to Zimbabwe as long as as long as I'm with this man as long as we are together guys I I would have probably done anything for him I actually almost did that's what I'm saying the guy that I met there like wow that nigga Jena I should if I could I would sue him <laughs> but honestly guys it was tough now the lesson that I want you guys to also learn here is that there is a group of men and these men are men that are abused by their mothers okay they have got real sad stories about their mothers they have been abused by their mothers and their mothers were not the best to them um what they actually do is that they no matter what they portray to be out there when it's behind closed doors they are able to strip themselves and they are able to show you the most vulnerable parts of them so what happens is that you know okay your mom never did this for you your mom never did that for you. your mom never did that for you as women it's in our nature to care for a man you start having this attachment towards this person that becomes very unhealthy instead of like you the, or this relationship being like husband and wife it almost becomes mother and son and you're the mother in this situation in terms of no matter what this man does it's very little that can make you leave this man and what they do is that they 
will always get into trouble and you will always make excuses for them because at the back of your mind you're like this man never got love from his mom so i understand that's the mental fuckery that actually goes on you guys and when i'm telling you this i'm also looking at this whole situation with dr nandipa and tabobesta i feel like that's the exact mechanism the same scope that he literally used obviously we know that he didn't have a great relationship with his mother um you know and then i'm sure that he has shown dr nandipa sides of him that we do not know the vulnerable tabobesta i'm sure even though he would beat her, even though he would do all these other things, I'm sure in her mind, she was like, oh, you know, poor him. You know, he didn't have a good childhood, you know, he didn't. And they love playing victim. They love playing victim. They will go mess up and you have to be the one that clean up. You have to be the one that comes up with the plans because you fall so deeply in love with this person that literally removing yourself from this person, it hurts as removing a child from their mother. that's the situation that actually goes down and so guys that's honestly how i almost became a fugitive myself running away with somebody he ended up actually going through that court case and it was the longest guys we moved to free state and then he would have to like leave free state and come to johannesburg now mind you guys because he has to be in court early in the morning number one we do not have a car there are no taxis like there, there's no transport from free state to here that can arrive in the morning so what he would have to do is that he would have to leave free state would have to sleep in joburg at a friend's place and then after that he would have to go to court to attend this case and then he would then have to come back to free state the following day so i don't remember how many times he did but he when he would be coming this side he claimed that Oh, when he lost this job because we never told them that he got fired because he stole you know it was a family secret it was a secret between me and him um that he was actually fired because he stole from work so you know we told them that oh he lost the job and then now he has to go and claim for the uif or whatever and so it was like yeah the money is supposed to come out but it's not coming out guys they see kamba man we were lying like nobody's business up until i think that the mother and the father they started having some doubts or why does he always go there in joburg because it was almost like once a month you know how they do they will be like postponed to next month on this date postponed to next month on this date now the thing that actually happened was when i later found out when i think i don't remember but I told him I think on Tuesday when I found out I was yelling don't do this on Wednesday I begged him to stop and he said he was gonna stop it does seem like on a Thursday there was word oh they have now started realizing oh, there are computers that are being stolen and so every single person decided to stop except for one person guess who that dumb cop is so what did he do they set a trap the dumbest mouth will walk in there they put surveillance camera because where the cameras were the the, the 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 computers were it seems like it was in an area where there were no cameras because they didn't care you know these are stories they were like sort of like in storage they were not being used um they set a trap they put the cct footage i mean the the, the cameras in there how oh, now we ask them they see him he walks in he takes he goes to the car puts in the boot of the car that was on the friday he goes back when he was going and going for the coming out for the second time the security just stopped him because remember when they were busy working what they would do is that they would take computers maybe from this building to that other building so it was not odd that someone would be walking in and out holding a computer box maybe you were fixing it maybe whatever and they had the tech obviously to show that they are the stuff here but now at that time they'd already set a trap to see who is the person and he was the one that was actually seen guess what guys the bank literally Literally put all the missing computers that have been stolen even before he came were st stolen by other people even during they put it all on him because he was the only one that got caught now imagine going to court against the whole bank in Dagabao. he obviously had to say guilty plead guilty now even with that i do feel that god loves him shame skepsele because even with that he didn't do jail time after everything was done they basically just said oh you know he was gonna do community service this time he did do community service um and he ended up actually cleaning the police station there was it not embarrassing guys what <laughs> 
remember what story we spent um to his parents because they did not know they never knew what was going on we even moved when even they kicked us out they did not know guys about this the only time that this story now started to come out was when him and i now have fights after he cheated which was in 2020 imagine guys this thing happened 2017 2020 that was when when he was sitting there seeing his malumekas and his aunt yeah even the money for lobola remember now putting out secrets it's like yeah even the fact that i stole and i came here <laughs> i was just looking at him like where don't go <laughs> that was when people actually now found out that he was actually fired because he stole i kept his secret like when it comes to wifing I, listen okay I, I won the trophy like i was the i was that wife i was that wife that was down for him i was that wife that was lying for him i was that wife that was doing everything i remember as i said that there was a day that you know even he he came to Houting and guys my nerves were shot i think it was the day that they were supposed to give him a judgment and i was like he was out on probation maybe they found out that the guy lied to come out and obviously how many computers it's like so much money that obviously is being claimed and everything we don't have that they're gonna definitely just arrest him guys i was sitting there i remember my heart i kept on drinking water i kept on going to the toilet that night guys i remember even my mother-in-law was there um she had come to Rakadis um, and she was like, Mdanam, are you okay? You know, it was before the fights had escalated. I was like, yeah, I'm okay. She's like, what's going on? Guys, Niti, uh, you could see Uri, my mind is not here. Because I'm like, if this guy gets arrested, obviously everyone is going to look at me. Now I have to be the one to explain to everyone what happened. And now everyone is going to start blaming me. Like, why didn't you tell us from the beginning? You understand? And obviously it means I have to pack bags from Free State back to venda to my aunt's house which is something that i didn't even want yo i guys shame i went through it i went through it as a woman have your own money i'm telling you have your own money at least it will help you a lot and again please stop making excuses for a man if you see that this person has a pattern of doing things he's not going to stop it's not his traumas who see if he's the traumas shove that man to see a shrink if a therapist that has gone to school to learn about human behavior can't save that nigga, you cannot save him either. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you need to protect yourself because there's a lot of dumb things that we do guys when we're in love. Because if maybe they had caught both of us at the border, I would have been arrested because I would have been trying to escape the country with a fugitive. And imagine what would have been my biggest crime. My biggest crime would have been loving this man. Because I didn't do the crime. But they would have arrested me as well because I was leaving the country with a fugitive, somebody that was out on bail. Now, when it came to the going to Zimbabwe, thank God that nothing obviously worked due to we didn't even have money to do um, um, a passport. And when you have no money, it's almost like there's also an element of Budom Kobunyana. You don't have information, you know. So we didn't even know how much it costed Shem that it, it was actually cheap to, <laughs> to get a passport. But again, you know, I was ready to skip and go to Zimbabwe not having any family there, nothing, not having any source of income. Or what was going to happen, we were going to just see when we get there. And mind you, at that time now, we didn't even have a car. So we were going to guess, get, I guess, just catch a bus, go and, yeah. Hi guys, shame me now, I don't want to lie. I went through the most i really literally went through the most um and i did put myself through all this because at any moment i could have decided to just leave this man there are certain people that are hopeless not everyone that you can be able to save and uh, don't be that person that loves a man so much that you love him even when he's burning you i remember guys we were forever in financial problems forever like nah people that man turned me into a beggar because we were always shot due to his criminal behaviors which never paid a single cent to him whatever money he got he lost 10,000 times more you understand got criminal record did he not just use less his degree it's not something that is easy and me talking about it now I know someone will think oh you're so cruel guys the guy actually exposed himself 
he's the one that told everyone i had kept it quiet even after he cheated on me i was like born and because i was still in that let me care about this man you know i don't want us to fight i want to live peacefully but yeah no, that's not what he was doing when he came to me he was out there preparing everything he even ended up putting out his own secrets because maybe in his mind he thought i'm gonna tell them so let him just go ahead and be the first one to tell them um honey i would have never ever actually told his business if he did not do the things that he did you all wouldn't know all this stuff but anyway guys yeah that was my dr nalipa era um but at least guys i didn't get to a point where i had to be stealing dead bodies thank god for that but again he was also not a billionaire so i guess if he was a billionaire hey maybe i'm not saying i would no, I definitely wouldn't. Eh? Yo, not nah, again. I'm scared of dead people. <laughs> no, I'm dead. I'm scared of uh, corpses. I don't want to lie. I don't even want to touch them. I remember I used to run away all the time whenever somebody dies at the hospital. Like, legit, pack my bags and leave. And then they would have to pack. Like, no. I think I only packed once throughout. Because I used to run. Like, honestly, no, it was just not for me. But anyway again as i'm saying guys if you have got a partner that has shown a signs that they've been abused by their mother look at how you treat them and look at how they automatically program your mind that no matter what they do they're doing it out of trauma that they have from the past somehow there's always an excuse it's never them it's never them you end up feeling so sorry for this person that that's why we we lie for this man we lie for them some even kill for them some even steal dead corpses for them our table best there are many out here it's just that there are levels but banning you guys banning and if you are with a partner that likes criminology but he's not even good at it i shame run because imagine he got arrested and his account only had 4500 Make it me. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's worth it. Back arrest guys, and you you have like two million. We're, we're like, okay, you know, I shem in daughter must hustle, you know. Back bambilinto si bona. You like we can see why you got arrested. That four thousand five hundred that he added in his account was not even enough to actually like even like guys the transportation from first state to here. How much did he he end up spending? me i the supportive one calling baby did you arrive how is it going i would sit and call hey 12 i'm starting to call that day the following day of the day that i was so nervous he didn't pick up for the longest time and that was when he said oh no they said i'm gonna do probation guys i i was so happy i remember i prayed so much that day no man is worth your life i went through so much guys this nigga still cheated on me i just personally feel like there are certain things that you should stand for and there are certain things that you should not your life your should never ever be compromised because at the end of the day i know for a fact right now like okay let me not say effect but if utama besta was to be given a choice to say throw dr nandipa under the bus she goes to jail you leave he would throw her under the bus like that no man is worth your life no man is worth your freedom no man is worth your life honey because your freedom is your life so if somebody sins that just too much cut them loose and leave i should have left a long time ago you understand but i thought you know no he's fine this and this and mind you guys these are stories that happened before we went to free state now obviously you know some overlap like how he was going through the case whilst we were in free state but at the end of the day you know this are stuff that happened when we were still deciding how then it was really like horrible bad like horrible okay if there's any advice Babson, and if you are ever watching this video, Ndagabao, just stay to jobbing. Stick to jobbing. You are very good at jobbing. Just job. Because if not, Uzabatabo best in jail. But anyway, go ahead and comment down below. What is your craziest story like when it comes to love? Damn in love. Don't copy in love. Please tell me. Hey, because I know the majority of us we do have that Dr. Nandipa syndrome. Um, or we have once had that Dr. Nandipa syndrome where you have done things for in that you think of right now. Would, would, like Ube scared self would ha me. 
<laughs> I can't even trust myself. <laughs> but anyway, I love you. Just stay blessed, and I will see you guys my next upload. Uh, the next story time will definitely be about the grandmother. The night we spent, yeah. And that will come Thursday. So keep, 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 you know, keep watching and wait for it. Do not forget to subscribe as well and keep your notification bells on. Yeah, I love you, ninjas. Bye.